Shalom. We want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm here with a quick scripture. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 15. It says, and that he died for all. Who died for all? Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly knows as Jesus. He died for all of Israel. But uh, uh, first, it's the elect of Israel. Okay? And then the whole nation of Israel you know, will come back in the, and when the kingdom is established on this planet earth, but the scriptures tell us it's in uh, Romans the 11th chapter. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Romans. I think it's 11 and 27 or 23. Must be 20, 23. Okay. 26. Romans 11, 26, it says, And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, because it's written that the whole nation is going to receive salvation, but it's going to start with the elect being delivered, and the rest will come back the ones that perish on this side they will come back through the re through reincarnation or being reincarnated into the kingdom you know the kingdom of Yahweh the kingdom of Israel it says there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob that's why Matthew 1 and 21 says that she shall bring forth a, a son, and they shall call his name Yahawashai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay, so going back to 2 Corinthians 5, 15, and that he died for all, all Israel, starting with the elect, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves see now the whole nation of israel we know this doesn't apply to because only the elect are going to take this take on this mentality of uh not living on to themselves meaning we live in our life to serve yahweh and not to serve ourselves. what we want to do what, what goals and dreams and that we want to fulfill in life. Okay? It's not about that. It's about doing what the scriptures tell us to do. And I'm saying we, including myself, you know, because I hope to be of the elect. You know, I'm not saying I'm the elect. I hope to be of the elect, you know. And uh, we can see, well, we know according to scripture that all Israel is not uh, the most highest put a spiritual block on their mind to where all Israel is not going to turn to the Lord. Only the elect will. And it's not, you know, us turning to the Lord. It's the Lord waking us up and, and drawing us to the, to the truth. What does St. John 15, 16 say? It says, um, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Right? And ordain you to bring forth uh matter of fact, let's get it real quick. I'll be messing that one up. John 15, 16. So it's not our choice. Nobody has a choice to whether they're gonna come and serve the Lord and put this their life aside. Okay, that's up to to the Most High, and He gave uh, all authority to His Son Yahweh Shai. 
So this is St. John 15 and 16. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. I always want to say, you know, the scripture that say, uh, bring forth fruit, me for repentance. And I believe John the Baptist, he the one made that statement. So I always get those two mixed up. But yeah, this says, and that your fruit should remain, that whosoever, I'm sorry, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Now let's go back. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to read it from the top, 2 Corinthians 5 and 15. It says, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for for them and rose again. So it's like a um, even pretty much a, well, it's really not an even exchange, you know, but it is a, to, to, it's, the best way I can say it is that it, this is showing balance. The Lord died, you know, he gave up his life for us. So we got to give up our life for him. Okay. And, you know, you got a lot of people that just, a lot of our people that are just not willing to do that. They're not willing to give up uh, what they got going on in their in their life. And, and to serve the Lord, you know, and that's okay because that's how it's supposed to be. But for the ones that have the mindset, because ultimately, where does that mind, that mindset come from? The most high. Okay. We give up our life, you know, and we devote our life to, to these scriptures. So therefore, for, uh, Elements in our life have to take the, the back burner. For an example, if you got a woman, if you have children, that's why Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians, the seventh chapter, they didn't have wives be as though you have no wife, roughly paraphrasing. Why? Because we're going to be spending a lot of time, a lot of our time is going to go into this ministry. Same thing if you have children, you're not going to be able to be this, uh, father of the year you know now this is not advocating not to be for brothers that have a woman a wife not to be a husband to your to your wife and those brothers that have children not to be a father to your children it just we're not gonna have it the way that we would like to have it you know because we're gonna be the, spending the majority of our time dealing with this ministry now and we'll get that back in the kingdom we'll get our woman and be able to enjoy our woman uh and our children in the kingdom okay uh and we we go and whatever else we wanted to do you know and pretty much now all the shit that we had that we wanted to do on this side the shit was vain you know it was it was uh, uh of this world and ultimately what, what was it gonna do they're going to build up this man's kingdom, you know? So in the kingdom, we're going to have business. We're going to have businesses and, and, and whatever our heart desires in absolute uh, righteousness, man. So I'm going to end it right there. Just want to really focus on this one verse, you know, to, in order for us to really say we in this truth, we got to give up our life and our life got to be about serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, with that, hope this video was edifying. Shalom.